<laughs> Hello, my name is Matt. Welcome to the Green Weed Gaming Channel, your ultimate gaming channel here on YouTube. Um, playing Skyrim with my son Ellis today. All right. <laughs> I was all improv. He <laughs> rolled with it. Seamless. We're back with episode two. I had a tequila nap. Now I'm having a tequila sunrise. Or sunset. We just watched our favorite... <laughs> a horse-inspired sports team play a game of sports and win in the amount of time that the game takes. Any thoughts or comments? I thought the new leadership... <laughs> Nice. Yes. I'm, I'm glad we squeaked out the victory. Yes, it is. It's always. Who were a team. <laughs> Had some notability. <laughs> yeah. I actually got I got that was the one I told him about the how I got the van on my channel on the football fiasco. Shit, he's being real careful here, YouTube. Yes, it was quite It was the sport that involves a ball and at least one foot. <laughs> There's a field with lines and grass. Uh. Oh. Broncos had a good win today, so. Oh, I was yeah, I was about to say they're kind of related. They're the horse of the sea, horse sea. <laughs> Seagulls, <laughs> Miami strippers, <laughs> spring breakers, <laughs> hooligans, hooligans. <coughs> I'm pretty sure the first time I heard hooligans was when we went to Florida for spring break. <laughs> All right, so I should probably introduce my father to my character. Miami <laughs> Hooters is good in the moment. Miami Gutters. <laughs> uh, so this is Zeril. It's Lorax backwards. I tried to make him. Here, I'll take off my, uh, my hat. It looks like a pharaoh. Pharaoh is a This is what the special breast. <laughs> special breast. <laughs> this is what special breast does to you. <laughs> <laughs> breast or breast? Breast. <laughs> As I said, the special breasts. Because <laughs> I was going to say the special guest brings. But I took the BR from brings and put it onto the us the guests. That's what it, it, it kind of looks like the Lorax. That letter ought to convince Camilla to never speak to Feindal ever again. I can't hear you, dude. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> um. So as the Lorax, I'm trying to be like protector of the wilds. Stealthy. Is he stealthy? No. Yeah, not not really <laughs> trying to be stealthy. Like, does someone fart? Or was that my chair? Oh. <laughs> There's two people in here. Did someone fart? Get Max. <laughs> um, 
I saw a, a hunter chasing an elk down, so I started beating him up. <laughs> and then the elk escaped while they were trying to kill me, and I just ran away. I saved two lives. The elk's in my own. Alright, so we got the Camilla quest. I need I need a decent amount of gold. I got 327. I guess we'll do the main quest real quick. Damn it, Fulud, you pooped last time I started streaming. Secret, we have company. <laughs> Did we turn on subtitles or anything? No, it's alright. Grandpa, <laughs> we've been so worried about you. <laughs> oh, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to yeah, eat. I'll see the Right. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You I'll know, be right I was back. to General Tullius the Skull. We, we were stopped in hell you know, when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You are drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to solitude and let them know what's happening. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. They look related. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need That's your big. help. Oh, he's giving me a whole bunch of stuff. He's giving me some ale, a belted tunic, some bread, two carrots, <laughs> some either cheese wed. Wed? <laughs> I can't talk. Garnet. Ooh, some hunting brew mead. Fire resistance, that's actually good. Rabbit haunch. It looks like a leg. I thought that was like their back here. I don't know. I don't want the apples. I'll take it. It's free. Would you pour me a shot of apple? Shot of apple. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send the best <coughs> soldiers you can. Great for If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. That's why I like the double shot shot glasses. Just pull Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to Whiterun, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Are goat horns hollow? So I might fill it with wax. Until next time. Is man and goat horn? Well, we should now. <laughs> you two make yourselves at home. Make yourselves at home? Okay, does that mean I can take your money? Oh, it sure does. <laughs> Gentleman's Guide to White Run. White what? White <laughs> Run. Yeah, White Run. Blacksmith shoes. 
some more money. <laughs> Take this. That'd be cool. Yeah. But you gotta kill an animal to do that. Ooh, snowberries. <laughs> you can throw things at people. Pick up this knife. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, there's a cooking pot. I can't take the shield though. <laughs> See how it says steel? Yeah. I can take everything else but that shield. That's a nice little area. Yeah, a little yeah. bar. If they had a pool table, it'd be sick. I got it on medium. You think it looks good? It's not bad job. It's on medium, like I said, yeah. There's not much depth to them, but... It, it does look pretty realistic, doesn't it? That one doesn't quite make sense. That looks like butt, <laughs> butt crack. <laughs> like lungs. Take some wine. <laughs> over there, over there, over there, yeah, I think they probably, yeah, it's okay, take some mead, what time is it, it's 10.16 a.m., so I got plenty of time, I need a pickaxe, well, I need a conjuration spell, that's what I need, Did you really oh. see a dragon? these are valuable, but I can't, Interesting that the blacksmith has a blacksmith potion. Pop is too friendly. Broom. Yeah, see, this is my problem with this game. I like, I have to look at everything for everything, you know. <laughs> Let's see if we can cook anything. You know, we're in a safe place. Blacks their apron up there. I can cook some apple stew, maybe. Good ways of avoiding apples. But if you cook it, the food will come out of it. Apple cabbage stew, beef stew, cabbage potato soup. That sounds atrocious. <laughs> Look at that cabbage soup. Oh, there's boiled eggs. I love boiled eggs. <laughs> cooked beef, cooked rook bass. Nice to be back hard on the spot, huh? Cooked this. I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to sort it from here. I'd recommend heading to White Run, just down the road from there. From there, you can take a carriage to solitude. Garlic, carrots, goose roast. I'm just trying to decide what I want. Watermelon salad? Sounds like a fucking song. Watermelon salad. I'm, I'm tone deaf, sorry guys. I hope I'll see you in solitude. I think for lunch. Good luck. Cooked scorpion fish? Tripods. Can't wait to kill another of Ulfric's boys. I don't think either. <clears throat> No, I don't want to use too much fire. If it's straight out, I can't cook it. Okay. <laughs> Beef stew. Damn, <laughs> storm cloak rebels. That's actually a really good food item. Holy crap! The guy I'm streaming for just showed up at my house. Good luck. Maybe we can get him in on the stream. <laughs> Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. Keep your guard up. What the rebels like to forget is that the Empire is what's keeping the Dominion out of sight. Can you come join us?
keep an okay. eye out for well, trouble. We got right. so only a matter of time. We don't have to. I mean, I want to. I don't. You want to say hi to the screen? So I can say hi to yourself. I hope I'll see you in solitude. Good yeah. luck. I'm just, I'm just cooking some lunch. Hi, Matthew. That's too um, loud. <laughs> keep an eye out for my trouble. Name's, my name's Matt. It's only a matter um, of time. I'm gonna be watching myself say this. Maybe I'll do some garlic carrots. Keep an eye no, out for trouble. Okay, it's only a matter of time. Okay, good stress all the way. Yeah, I'm getting geese, swans, flamingos. Flamingos. <laughs> I got a bird mod. Dude, you gotta kill all the flamingos. But I'm the Lorax. Yeah. I, but your name's not the Lorax. You know why? It's, it's, it's Lorax backwards. Okay. You know there. why flamingos is down one way? Why? If they pick up the other one, they'll fall on their ass. <laughs> um. You should check out episode one. There was one part where Keep I was traveling from uh, Rifton. It's only a matter of time. I was traveling in the Rifton area because I started as a bandit in the woods. So yeah, yeah, and that all started. Yeah, it, it, I was. I got arrested. I didn't know it. That's fine. I didn't have any clue. Anyways, uh, there was a a poacher was chasing an elk, and I saw it. Like I saw them shooting an arrow at the elk, so I said, "Hold up!" <laughs> Pulled out my bow. I shot the poacher. But I didn't want to kill the poacher, so I just let him go. So I just let him beat the shit out of me while the elk ran away. <laughs> and then I ran away, and the poacher just like stood there, like looking around with his bow. That's yeah, that's that's an episode one. This is episode two. Um, yeah, I, I watched a little bit of episode one. I saw your comment. Yeah. Um, I saw weed now. Well, let's not say that. <laughs> 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 DM me, please. <laughs> hey, don't forget all the rest of your uh, mail out there. On the tip. Yeah. All right. See you, buddy. Stay sharp. Love right. you too, Jake. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I just wasted two hours cooking. <laughs> yeah, we we love playing this game together. We do it all day. Get home from school. Whose turn is first? Whose turn is first? <laughs> you went first last time. Well, you had the last turn. <coughs> um. Yeah. Right too. So there is a, a a little love feud that's going on. This guy and this guy like the same girl. Who do you think should get her? I normally always go with Fangdall, but that's normally because I like he, he's he's a wood elf. That's normally what I play. Are you a sorcerer from the college? Sven um, is a bard, but he can sing pretty good. He's got the bigger cock. I saw one right there in the street. Oh. That's not Spence cock. I don't know whose cock that is, but here, I'll show you something. The number one rule in Skyrim is don't fuck with <laughs> the chickens. Watch this. Oh, we got away with it. There's no guards here yet, that's why. Normally, like, you can, like, break into people's houses, pickpocket, it'll put poison apples in their pockets. No. You beat up their chickens. <laughs> the guards kill you. You should go to the place. I'm gonna go to the store, see how much it costs to buy a conjure familiar. Well, one of us has I've been trained as a scholar, <laughs> as was my father. What are you doing in here? No theatrics here, no thief. Yeah, I don't like him very much. I think I'm gonna give The funny thing is I can marry the girl that they're both talking to. Uh, customer. To hear that. It's okay. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard. Uh, yeah, the, we, we did <coughs> uh, All right. break in. Someone broke uh, in and ornament. stole a Solid special. gold. You could? I've got some coin oh. coming in from my yeah, last shipment. It's yours. We've seen this enough times. <laughs> oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Hopefully he's got some spells. Fishing map light run. I kind of want that. There's only one conjuration.
Yeah, hopefully the keyboard clicking isn't too loud. Oh, I got the mace to do the thing. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Maybe I should just save those for a follower. <laughs> what? <laughs> the song you're talking about, nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta do that. <laughs> God dang it. And Jake, Jake might be watching right now, too. So a couple of garnets. I'm just not sure if I need some of this stuff for, like, alchemy or enchanting. Or enchanting, actually. No, I don't need that. Ready, Pop? Yeah. <laughs> How did I do it? Oh, Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how to do it. Filled with nothing but traps, trolls, yeah, and yeah. who knows what else. There it is. <laughs> Devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> oh, there's a pigeon! <laughs> it's a big ass pigeon! Can I kill it? Oh, I'm the Lorax. <laughs> sorry, sorry, pigeon. Alright, we're gonna do a little black. Nice what do you need, my friend? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need for that one. Alright. Boy needs an iron dagger. I don't know why there's. Battle, oh! That's cool looking. Iron Club? I must. It's either some new content or I've got some alternate. Choices. It's pretty cool. Floyd is my uh, deaf brother, so he's not going to say much, but he is signing to you. <laughs> he's a cat, actually. But Whatever you need. I smear it. Not bad. You guys ever have but that thing where your parents down. put your pets How about at the same level as down. their children? You know? Just need a oh, bit of metal take, take and the grindstone over there. Go take your brother for a walk. <laughs> Good day. For a new blade, this looks good. You put time into your blades, they'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Sweat on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <then. laughs> my heart's pounding. <laughs> I 
So yeah, I'm not gonna level smithing, but iron or steel is what you need. <coughs> you that fan That's ah, a good way to good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. I'm not gonna level smith it. Oh, yeah, I, got level <coughs> I might have misspoke. I've been doing it a lot. What do you say? Make something, some, some racers. Can't read. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna level my left forearm. I'm pretty sure it's bracers he asks you to make. I can't remember. You looking for a new blade? Oh, nope. One bracers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Is it a helmet? I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a wall. I hope it's the helmet. Hmm. <laughs> Good day. Craft a hide helmet. Crap. Not I like spam too, actually. Yeah, fr fried is good. It, raw, I, I don't think I would like it raw. I scratch my belly this morning if I hurt. We're camping away. Iron or steel is what. Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Oh, being a sausages? No, no. We have done that. Corned beef hash? Yeah, hash. That's a great camping meal. <clears throat> so, oh yeah, I can. Yeah, it's in the fire. Oh. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. I don't sound that bad. <laughs> I would do it again. <laughs> you have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Take what you need, my friend. Take a look. Finn's been creeping me out, so I'm gonna help out Fandal if I can find him. What time is it? It's 2.46. There's a cave I wanna go do. Uh, so I guess I'll do that first. Check this out. There's an auto run button. That's nice. It's very nice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Is it bad? I don't think so. I mean, it's right next to the mic, but it's kind of behind it also. Yeah, it's only one viewer. <laughs> Maybe I'll, uh, I'll do this cave and then go back to my fishing hole. I can show you the fishing. Spells. Conjuration being one of them, that's huge. Got another. Uh, 
So we're gonna have to fight someone here. I guess I'll take the hunting bow. What game is that the character with it? Oh, Skylanders. That was a pretty cool idea. Really good marketing idea, you know. You can, instead of buying content, you just buy characters. Yeah, that was a good idea. How they just had that pad and everything. Yeah, it was pretty fun actually too. It wasn't a bad game. What was it? I just take away from this. I just on this guy thing. You want me to place? Oh, you're mine. Where should I kill him? Headshot. Nope, oh, just a person. A very frightening person. I don't know why he didn't charge me. Ooh. His haircut. <laughs> I noticed a beehive up there. I've seen that before. I'm trying to decide if I should spend twenty dollars to get the anniversary upgrade. I think I added some new content and some new creation club stuff, but I'm not positive. I don't know. <coughs> Just like a quarter shot. Thank you. Let's see. That's why I did it. <laughs> you know, half shot. In case it gets dark, push this cart down there. Firewood. You got it. Oh! Ah. That hurt me. The <laughs> log falling out hurt me. <laughs> Dude sees mushrooms. Oh boy, I knew I missed one of some of them on the radio. I hit the wrong guy. Huh? I hit the wrong guy. I hit the wrong guy. Switch to raise zombie. Not gonna do borax things. Tell you, what. you shouldn't have cut down the trees. <laughs> you shouldn't have mined. Oh, he's not doing anything. <laughs> I like him better. <laughs> Fun. And you still get all the things out off of them if you turn them to ash. It's cool that his eyes are like closed or whatever. Yeah, you see that NJ? See how it Lorax backwards? Zero? We got it in a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> but you gotta you gotta you'll have to read it upside down if you do that. Uh, mushrooms, pickaxe, that's what we wanted. Uh, we gotta do a lot of ass. I used to, me and MJ would play a lot of new new saves and without mods, which is how we played most of the time. This is like the first cave you do. And I'd always be like, did you get this iron? Did you get this iron? And I think it annoyed him, uh, but... Like, not bad or anything, but yeah, it's just a little inside joke. Our Ember Shard, my trips. Did you get this one? <laughs> Iron or vein? <laughs> I 
think it's iron. <laughs> I've got enough veins. Uh, We're on the same wavelength. <laughs> I feel like 80% of our jokes no one else gets, <laughs> but we're just like, we just, we just think the same way. I guess that's how inside jokes work most of the time, though. wine. You know what? I fancy a flask. Yeah, sounds good. I might take a shot. I'll take a shot, too. Uh, eight this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I think I'll have a little pheasant roast. So yeah, we. <laughs> 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 it's so funny. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not in this state. Bro, it could be nanalized. We live in a weed legal state. <laughs> no, I'm talking it can be. Oh, yeah, like. You could be selling thistle. Yep, or. Queen Anne's lace. Yeah. Mills. Dandelions. I don't know, also wine. Weed is just a plant where you don't want it. Yeah, so you smoke, you, you burn it to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta burn it out. <laughs> Wildfires out in like the job running. Pretty scary. <laughs> oh boy. That would not be as scary. Did I raise him as a zombie? Is he drowning? I don't think it worked. Zombies drown? How's a dead I don't know, but he just sure as fuck didn't do shit to help me. Ah <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got it marked not safe for kids. It's a, it's a mature rated game, so yeah. they although they don't cuss in this game. I could level up. I should probably level up. I'll take some health since my magic is already ridiculous. Conjuration. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to really focus on conjuring. Conjuring? <laughs> yeah. My bad. My bad. <laughs> conjuring. <laughs> I heard you can fight with the fishing rod. You build it like a sword. Oh, oh, and he he was following me. <laughs> yeah, I think there's gonna be a bad guy up here. You can usually spy on him through this window. See her right there. Oh, it didn't go through. Oh, she opened the door like a dumbass. Time to end this little game. Three. I, I missed the third shot. Yeah, let me just take the key. Make things easier on ourselves. Pretty sure there's an iron deposit somewhere around here. Right here. So I'm getting the iron just so I can make like a whole bunch of daggers or something just to get XP to get points that matter. Exactly. Or like a NFT. You know what an NFT is? Football team. <laughs> 
Oh, some tomatoes. I love, I love tomatoes. Some white cat mushrooms. Those birds got a nice little salad. I don't eat birds like that. I don't either. I mean, I, I think you can eat them, but, but I don't, I don't I think they survive. I don't think they're poisonous, but I don't think they really do much. I didn't say you weren't allowed, you just said back You gotta make it stream applicable, don't you? So now I'm conflicted. You can go get it if you want. Yeah, I'll be drunk. I'm watching your stream! <laughs> Where's your donation link? <laughs> Yeah, we don't want that. It's fucking annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Tricks are for kids. <laughs> oh, some wheat. That's neat. I hear some hammering in the distance. Can I grab that key that was on the table? Yeah. We'll get through this line. <laughs> I never did do that shot. I thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the next one? <laughs> I haven't done, I didn't, yeah, I didn't do my 17th shot yet. I haven't done that next shot yet. <laughs> but I will. <laughs> Somebody's got <have> to. <laughs> And another. Thank you, DJ Khaled, for sponsoring this video. <laughs> and to breathe real lime juice. <laughs> First sponsor I ever get. That's how I'm going to be cool. <laughs> hey, real, man. <laughs> yeah, I can't lock down the tequila. Can lock down the lime juice. <laughs> I can't believe how uh, all the gifts that Casamigos yeah. offered you four coasters. Marino, <laughs> <laughs> I got two shot glasses on. Alright, so we're going big and loud. You should see the hypnotic glasses. They're really cool. I don't want to be spotted. Have you ever tried it? No. Oh, no, my wolf! Sorry. And let's cast a healing and lesser ward. Ah! I've got a low look. real quick to refill my magicka which I'm gonna increase what is that like magic? yeah it's just how <laughs> you know what it actually does though it makes you uh, cool magical it's how many spells you can cast yeah. if you don't have magicka you can't cast spells so, alright <laughs> Uh, novice restoration could be good. I like not doing this stuff, but it's fun. Here we go. Yeah. We have a planetarium. Awesome. I bet. I did an astronomy class when I went to. Uh, I'm sorry. I, no, I, I, I skipped it. We had a project where we were supposed to go up to the observatory. Uh, and I skipped it because I had a date or something. I did go to the Boston Museum of Science to do the planetarium show, and that was really cool. 
It's it's like the scene from Avatar: The Last Airbender when they go to the library. Yeah, it was really cool. I wish I would have done like I could have used a telescope, like a you know like a yeah, a ten meter diameter telescope. That's really cool. Yeah, he's lining up his shots with the stars. <laughs> but he did this little game with people where he the class. Where, like, you get this little uh, spaceship to go across and play Star Wars. Oh man, that's, that's a great teacher. And then you can make it like run into something, and all of a sudden he took the lights off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, an explosion. Yeah. It was pretty, pretty fun. Dude, that is a good teacher. Although, I guess if you had a planetarium for more than two years, you could probably come up with some pretty good yeah. stuff. <gasps> he told us his story about... Guess what I can do in here? Uh, fish. Yeah. yeah. He had a good little joke. He said, uh, he, was, he went to school. His teacher uh, would always have these surprise quizzes. Quizzes? Quizzes. Hmm. Like, that's what he called like little, little quizzes? Yeah, little quizzes. Top quizzes. Yeah, that's what he called quizzes. They're always really tough to ask. So, man, these are his quizzes. I hate to see his testes. <laughs> <laughs> he saw his testes. <laughs> I can't believe a high school teacher could say a joke like that. But I thought it was funny. That's the thing about education. If you invest a lot of money into it, it it teaches children that if they learn a lot, they'll make a lot of money and be able to have things that are awesome. That's the problem with the uh, public education system. There's not enough funding, so kids go to school with. I'm not going to say the teachers are inadequate, but they don't have the supplies or the resources. Like when I went to high school, even. I had to go to my rival high school. We had two two high schools in my district. And my senior year, I was in a math class that was so advanced, my school didn't have a teacher that was even qualified to teach it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I was probably better at math than all of my math teachers. And I, I don't... They did teach me very well, but... I, I don't think I'm wrong in saying that I have probably done more advanced math than any of them ever did. And yeah, like, I skipped school a lot, too. And we had a, we had a career center that was a 10-minute drive away. And any time you're allowed to go get in your car, if you skip school, you're like, hmm, Taco Bell and Excite sounds pretty good right now. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. And then, senior year, my senior year, where I really didn't give a fuck, <laughs> they were like, now you need to drive to McKenzie twice a day and LN once a day. So, Just an open invitation. Yeah. Yeah. You need Taco Bell these two days. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? Like, your school is telling you, as a teenage person, we need you to go leave class 10 minutes early because there was a bell that announced the early departure so you could have travel time. So you'd get out of class early, first of all, which also impacted the other students because the teachers would be like, well shit, five of my kids just left, I can't really teach anymore or they're going to fall behind because they're trying hard. And then, like, imagine that three times a day where they tell you, leave 10 minutes early, go to your car leave our school grounds where no security will stop you. You know, it was just too easy. I remember back when I was in school. You had to be clever back then. Well, when I was in school, when they rang a bell, it was actually a person ringing a bell. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the poor fella had no arms. My graduating class had three people. <laughs> the bell ringer had no arms. So what do you do? <laughs> Is it real? Yeah. Dang, I can't believe this is true. Yeah. And he would run 
Yeah. 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 I wish I could remember his name, but it's Fisher sure as well. <laughs> Alexander Graham? Yeah. So this is fishing. Good guys, they're freaking jumping. Yep. They're not fighting. They will. You can't see. <laughs> <laughs> They're in a cave. <laughs> I got a tankard. Did you caught a tankard? Yep, it bit hard. <laughs> it bit harder than the fish I just caught. I like the fishing, I won't lie. It reminds me of Fate, the Cursed King. <laughs> Boring as fuck. <laughs> Oh, that looks like catfish. It's a dire fish. I don't know if that's real or not. Can you fact check it? Super side perch. A perch is a real fish. I know that much. That's still alliteration. What? Fact finding bone. Cheese, yeah, I don't know if there's a any sort of difference between a phonetic alliteration and a literal alliteration. Like flying blank. Yeah, or a psychotic fucking <laughs> fat fucker. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if the PH and the F count as an alliteration. That actually gives me a, that gives me a good idea for a poem, honestly. You could do those alliterations that challenge the status quo in terms of phonetic versus literal, but have it be like a a dichromatic like poem, you know, like love and hate or like yeah. That's not a bad idea at all. Cause you can throw like a G or an H in there every now and like get some really weird looking words in terms of visually, but phonetically it's still it's cohesive, which is pretty much how the world works. Nothing makes sense, but it just works. Yeah, I've never thought about that. That was, a, that was cool. I might have to email Professor Otten about that. The balls? <laughs> the balls. Oh. No laws in English or literature. It's all about expression. Welcome to PGA Fishing Tour 2006. <laughs> Ooh, a vampire fish! I think it's a Oh. Yeah, okay. I've never played a fishing video game outside of an arcade. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have too. God, their boats are cool. <laughs> that's, that's like, the only thing you see move is the motor. <laughs> is there limits on like being within another? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you can... like drive through their line. <laughs> Hold your pull up <laughs> while you drive through their line. Like, oh, sorry, I didn't see it. I got some tongs. No, but there's some dude that lost his boat and stuff because he's caught cheating in a fishing tournament. He lost his boat? Yeah, he won it. Well, he won it, but then he took it back. And How did he cheat? Did he, like, have fish, fish stocked in the cooler? I don't like <laughs> Taser? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, frozen fish from Costco. Yeah, that'd be the, that'd be the, like, I got a 12 pounder. That'd be the easy. Like, you know, this, like, this fish doesn't live in this cock. <laughs> but it's big, isn't it? <laughs> Must have been a private stalker. <laughs> I got 12 pounds of fish sticks. <laughs> I got 12 pounder. It's a 12 pound bag of fish sticks. 
<laughs> Ooh, I got some pheasant. Oh, I went through too much. I'm gonna take a potato. <laughs> he took a potato. I took a one potato. potato. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. you have limited carry weight. You do. <laughs> like, I can't carry everything. I'm like. Potato was kind of one of dense. Grade. I'm like, iron greatsword? Eh. Potato? <laughs> I'm gonna be able to make some soup with that. It's pretty dense. Yeah. And a lot of weight for a small. Got a couple oh, tomatoes okay. already. Tomatoes are gonna be a lot lighter. Alright, I wasn't gonna grab them, but now I'll grab them. Yeah. With a potato bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't need my <coughs> cabbage. Apples, flour. Flour might be worth taking. You can run out of flour quick if you're cooking a lot. And I probably will because I love food. Eggs. I've got. I, I have. I've got plenty of eggs. No. I've got one. Money. It's like a hundred year old egg. <laughs> I don't know how old it is. The dragon egg. Black. No, it's in my ingredients. I can't. It's not even food. Chicken egg. I can't eat it. Should I eat it? Eat it raw. Why can't you cook with eggs? Salt is actually really important, but it's like stock. Yeah. Because you can cook and make potions with it. And preserve it. And yes. I'm all about preserving my meat as well. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna eat What's this, a hidden tunnel? I've never seen this before. I Ooh. saw a lot of hunters, but... Did you ever get this iron deposit, Jake? No. <laughs> no, I sound like Floyd! You, d Floyd. you don't. I don't know why he did that voice. Floyd was kind of his, but he didn't take Oh, that was Floyd? Yeah. I thought that was you. Oh, I'm sorry. Floyd's meowed. <laughs> Oh crap, I think this has a, a trap on it. Oh no, it doesn't. Sometimes chests will have like. Boop, yeah. Like Cobra. Yeah. Rachel. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Chubby Nazis that sound like they've been smoking for 80 years. <laughs> you don't know what we're talking about, boy. Good. I think he knows what I think of him. Uh, I, I haven't told you this. I take some grenades from Spanish and I should have texted him. And she said, Oh, man. Uh, it was me talking about him. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that's what happens when you try hard at some place that doesn't care. And when you drink in Texas. Never drink in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you don't have your phone. <laughs> I'm trying to develop an app We got to blow into your phone to drink in Texas. They do have breathalyzers on the phone, but yeah, that is a. I could code that. I actually could. Uh, so it's 10:45. I've tried it. You tried coding it? No, I'm kind of blowing in. <laughs> I got water. <laughs> and I still text. <laughs> I guess we'll just go sleep at the inn in Riverwood. Yeah, that's a good place. It is a good. Or, actually, I could sleep in this house right here. Yeah, they're hospitable. Oh! You get the key from Ember Shard Mine! I got the key for this house! In the episode one, I was like, I don't know how to get into this house. But now I know! Oh, there's a huntsman bow. 
reminds me of the hospital I stayed at. <laughs> Dude. Alright, normally I would eat and go to bed right now, but you're gonna fucking freak out when you see what I'm about to show you. Yeah, I'll go shower. Dude, just, I'm telling you, this is crazy. Oh boy. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna blow your mind. So we went camping, and one night it rained really hard, and my tent got soaked, unfortunately. Former Boy Scout, I'm embarrassed about it, I don't like to talk about it, but basically it was either I slept in Dad's tent, which is a two-man tent, when you become an adult, that's just not really comfortable. Yeah, one-man air mattress. Yeah, a one-man air mattress. So I'd have to sleep on the ground next to an air mattress. Uh, so we ended up going to a hostel, technically, but it's just... You know, Indiana is not a very liberal state. I just want to get the story out before I show you what's going on. Just describe to me the building we stayed in. Um, it was like, uh, what was the name for that? Uh, I don't, you, you, you said the word to mom, I don't remember what it was. It's kind of like, like a windmill. York? Right. Uh, it's like a small windmill, but without the, without the fan blades. It's like a circular, it's like a turret almost, but with a... Yerk, I think. A yerk? Something like that. Oh god, that looks like what we stated. That's the, but as a treehouse. There's the treehouse. This is what we stated. Oh in. yeah. It's got a balcony, but isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's nuts. That looks so much like what we stated. Like ex almost exactly. And there was a treehouse there too, that was a little taller than this, but yeah, this place is kind of. There was a spider in the shower house. Yeah. That was as big as our palm. Yeah, the shower house, get this, didn't have a wall on one side. <laughs> so it's an outdoor shower, and it's in a building, you know, they got hot water, a really nice sink actually with a big fractured mirror. And when you go in the shower, there's two shower stalls. We only used one of them. I don't think the other one was working. But, uh,. It's just woods. <laughs> There's no wall. Yeah, wide open, like, out, not even glass window. It's yeah. Like open air window. Yeah, like, there's spiders in there, but, you know, it, it was it was quite the experience. I'd actually highly recommend it to anybody who's comfortable roughing it. Like, if you go to a campsite and you need electricity and running water, don't go there. But if you can deal without electricity and running water... You're fine. It's it's awesome, actually. They were very friendly, yeah, very they, cool they people. Have, they actually offered uh, a free meal. That they, uh, yeah. A homemade meal. We, they do a little great... Uh, we, showed up, we showed up and they were cooking us dinner. And on their website it said it was a dollar extra for dinner, but they totally would have just given it to us for, for free. And yeah, the gratitude circle. Yeah. You can talk about the gratitude they like circle. To, they, they'd like to get their guests together over a dinner. They go around and just talk about what they're grateful for for that day. Yeah. Pretty cool little hippie commune like yeah. kind of thing. But you know, it's not like they were weird hippies. No, it's not like, at all. They weren't pushing us to be vegan. They weren't pushing us to vote blue. They were they were not pushy at all. They were just loving her. Yeah. They were existing in nature as seamlessly as they could. And it was cool. Yeah, very great spot. If I wouldn't have had such a bad asthma attack, we would have enjoyed it a lot more, I think. We could have walked around yeah, and had more of it. Like see, yeah. At this point, too, we were on the end of a, a, a camping trip. Yeah, a stressful. A vehicle stressful near the end, yeah. But awesome trip. We went underground. We were in a cave. We went camping. We got a free night from a DNR officer, even though we drank probably probably 80 beers worth of alcohol <laughs> in like three days <laughs> if I had to guess somewhere around there and it wasn't beer <laughs> we had some beer yeah we did <laughs> we had a lot of beer we had a lot of beer <laughs> uh, wait, what's the 30 pack now we're going pretty quick we went hiking and 
the park we were staying in had a trail map, and one of the trails was like, like it wasn't connected to the main state forest, like just due to property rights or claims or whatever, they had a pocket that you had to drive to. So we go there, and like literally, probably 200 yards before the actual trail, there was an old trailhead in like. I don't know if you're American or not, but there was a a very familiar looking sort of trail gate that blocks vehicles but allows horses. And, I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. He's giving me some mail. Only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Gunner's legacy. All right, thanks, dude. So yeah, we get there. I'm like, yo, that's the trail, and. By the way, we're like on a dirt gravel road that's behind some huge gypsum factory yeah. or something. Or, yeah. It's like, a, yeah, it's a mineral or something. I don't know. We're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, that looks like a fucking trail. And we both agreed it looked like a trail. So we spent the next hour hiking up this fire road that was not the trail. <laughs> <laughs> not we get to the end of it. I'm looking at the map like, yeah, it said it was a loop. It comes to a cliff. And this is just a fucking cliff down to a railroad and a highway. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> it was a good view. It was a great view. <laughs> but the real trail had a much better view. Yeah. What was that letter I just got? Um, it was a weird name. Yeah. That's from Spain, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I can't find the letter I just got. <laughs> Dear Camilla, this is the letter Spain wrote from Fandal. I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desires you may have from your side. I am a true-born son of Valenwood. That's where the wood elves come from. And I could never befoul my bloodline by courting an imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand your people's place in the Alphamiri Dominion and respect me as such. Yeah, it's actually a pretty polite... He could have been like, yo, your bush is too thick. I'm a woodsman, you know, or something like that. But it is, it is backhanded, that's for sure. I didn't think about that. Maybe we should just give it to her there. <laughs> I got the white rum fishing map. Alright. It's like there's a fish down the bottom. Right? <laughs> <laughs> there's a key up in the bottom top right of the map. That looks like a key, right? Yeah. It's a key. Then go to the fish hole. <laughs> Where are you? Hey, no, he works at the mill, so he's normally over here. What is that? Oh, you're just got See, I don't think the females have the purple, do they? It's the males that have the purple, right? Blue. Well, or blue. I think they might. The females do? I think they might. I wasn't sure. Uh, but I know the, the mallards definitely do, but it doesn't show on them. I know they have the dark purple stripe. I, I need some fact checking done. I get my ceramic. I brought you here on the stream as a special guest fact check, and you haven't checked a single fact. They're all correct. <laughs> okay. You've checked all the facts. According to my dad, I think. <laughs> You're doing great. Where's Fandal? He should be working at the mill. It's 2.43. There he is. He was walking from his house. There's beauty here unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. He said there's beauty here unmatched in Skyrim. He, he loves the environment he's in. He, he's just a winner. Spins What not. is that blowhard up to now? Well, we called Spin a blowhard. So, he thinks he can turn Camilla against me. Two can play at this. Here, give this letter to Camilla and tell her it's from Sven. He gave me a Let's fake letter. Let's see what she thinks of him after reading that. 
Should I double cross them or should I go with it? Farewell. I like his ears. Try out a skin rabbit over those things. My dearest Camilla, I yearn to have you as my own, washing my linens and my fine blonde hair, to cook my dinner from my stove and into my house while I wander. <laughs> that is a great love letter. Uh, I didn't want to get work for me. <laughs> it's a good fake. Yeah. And that's something Spin would say. Where is old Camilla? Yo, you can courier. You, you got any other letters to Nope. Sorry. Nothing. It's a nope, sorry, nothing. <laughs> what her name, Chlamydia? <laughs> oh, Camilla. That's what you call her after you get married. <laughs> Camilla, yeah. She actually is a sweetheart. Yeah. But if you do marry her, she'll, like, talk about how you helped her brother all the time. The Golden Claw. She's not, I, I don't find her that Mara attractive. bless you for uh, agreeing to help uh, us. Like English, yeah. Like, get away from me. You just said get away from me. You're not from around here. That makes another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean five, eight hours. you can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Remember that one hundred or zero to one hundred percent puzzle completion I stream we did. I came from the Imperial Province to work with my brother. Fourteen days. <laughs> We're still gonna work on that puzzle. We do. Wow! Look at that. Massage. It's a puzzle of two otters standing beside each other. And they're in pieces. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta go too. Double quadrant. Double entendre. <laughs> oh, I hear a bee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, at least I didn't. I love the ducks. Oh, there's a fishing spot. At least I didn't stay with that there again. It's 4 o'clock p.m. I can do a little fishing. Yes. Yeah, I got some. Yeah, I know, but... That's easy fishing. Apparently. <laughs> That's like fishing out of a bucket. Oh boy. Alright, everybody. Hey boy. Hey boy. Go. Go. Why is it bigger? Ooh! That's a pog Pog. Fish. pog. <laughs> What's a pog? Oh! It's got baby ducks! Oh shit, can't one. I think you can. Catch, catch duck family. <laughs> Dude, I'm dyslexic or something, I swear to god. All I got from that was a duck egg. Hey, don't talk about it, I'm sorry. That's awesome. Well, that was a duck egg. I, I agree. We got thicker shells, some last longer. They're hardier, more, more protein, and they make cute little. They don't, yeah. Ugly ones. They don't look weird. They don't feel weird. They can fly once they're born. Yeah, they're attractive to look at. There's some salmon. I like salmon. I don't think Dad does. It's okay. I'm not crazy about it. I could. I, I would. I love like a honey glazed salmon. Ooh. Taste for fish has definitely changed over the years. I used to hate it. I like a lot of it. Yeah. To be fair, he's he's eating eating steamers and he's even kinda of come around to those. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> that is tough. That is a weird looking food. It's, it's very, a weird feeling very food. Tough. You're right, that is tough. Oh, that's an elk. Oh, oh I didn't mean to shoot that arrow. I thought it was a wolf. It's 
catch no fish. I almost said something else, but I'll say a rubber band out of the water and chew on it. You said condom? Yeah. That's where you need condom is to get that taste out of your mouth. I think they resemble ears a lot. Oh, yeah. Like, eels? Kind of like, no, ears. Like, that, like that. Well, yeah, eels kind of the same boat, actually. I like eel also. Yeah, they do look like that. Like that cartilage feel. Oh, oh. I can conjure familiar. Should have made my guy's name Michael Vick. <laughs> oh crap! Dead rabbit. Oh. All right, we're gonna have to fight a giant. Going straight for the giant the companions thing. I'm trying to make sure I have the wolf with me also. These guys complain if you don't attack the giant they're fighting. This kind of looks like Southern Indiana. <laughs> kind of. Except for, yeah. Castle and stuff. That looks like it took me a lot of time there. I missed. Hit him so he'll be happy. Really very familiar. Oh. Try to get the kill shot. Handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. <laughs> the lady back here talking. <laughs> An outsider, eh? <laughs> These guys are just giving me the An order of warriors. We are move. brothers and sisters <laughs> in honor, and we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. You can marry her. Not for me to say. Yeah. You'll have to talk to Codlack White Mane up in your Vasco. This one. The old man's got a good sense. I got a mod that lets me marry anybody. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. But if you go I'm to not him, crazy about her. good luck. You look strong. Blood on the wind, Basker. I can actually marry him too. What do you need? Well, she's got a nice voice, actually. She just talked and it made the attraction level. Look at that thing. I'm here to help. Your feet need to be quick and your eyes quick. Let me look at your fucking face. Uh -huh. Got more to say. Doing. Yeah. I think she looks better. Isgrimor himself wouldn't have the patience what? to deal with all the rabble around here. Well, I'm kind of into that. Oh, oh, there's little sheep. Holy sheep! Shit. Can I kill it? Well, I, I don't. I I want to know if I can, but I'm not going to. I'm sorry to tell you about the <laughs> trick I played off my brother. The one where you spelled your name Jim? No. <laughs> we had some pie. Oh, boy. And I ate all the pie, and I put the sheep in the And I told him it was pie. But he ate it. Oh, someone commented, Hey, Paul. Thanks for ch chilling with me and my father. We're just playing some Skyrim. Who is it, Paul? It was yeah, Paul T B B. Said what's up. I think he's still here actually. Thank you for checking out the stream. I got some modded Skyrim. Just you know, really taking my time. It's it's not a try hard playthrough. I'm not gonna show you anything you don't know. I've just got some mods. I'm enjoying the game with my pa. We're drinking some tequila. And uh, having fun.
So thanks for hanging out. I'll check the chat every five or ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I will. I'm, I'm not gonna check the chat again. <laughs> See you, Paul. <laughs> I just checked the chat. <laughs> I wanted to make sure you were still here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm at the point of the game where I am going to talk to Jarl Barlbra. Oh. City's closed with the dragons yeah, about. Official business only. Uh, he uses a hundred percent. Fine, but we'll be keeping it out. Oh, there go. That's that's a, yeah. Good job. Good streaming, Dad. You're cut out this business. <laughs> yep. I'm kid, I <laughs> dreamt about being a YouTube streamer. <laughs> YouTube streamer. I go sit on my tractor in the cornfield. <laughs> First, I dreamt about. Oh, you band. just you just started playing Skyrim recently, man. Oh. You are in for a treat. Uh, you're gonna get some good tips. Um, yeah, yeah. So if you have any questions, we must have let me know. I will tell you. I'm playing soldiers. modded. On PC, so on if you're on console, Why there are mods. PC, there's mods. Um, there's client-based mods that you can get through the game, or like Nexus. Besides, would never Anyways, if you have any questions about how to level up or what skills to get, I'm happy to help. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. I hope you are. It's it's the best game ever. I'll do a shot for Paul. Let's take a shot for Paul. All right. He just started playing Skyrim. Yeah. You're blessed, man. You're blessed. How many people just started? No. Yeah. I've been playing this game for 11 years. Um. Yeah, I'm still sexy. Yeah. I'm still. Yeah. Uh, my character's name is Zoral or something like that. And it's Lorax backwards. I used to play this game with my brother a lot, and he, he gave me a character idea where I'd be a Lorax. So, protect nature. Try to stay away from killing people, but uh, it is a, a fighting game, so I'm gonna use conjuration and restoration. Yeah, so. And if I could play it, anybody could play it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not actually playing, I'm just sitting back here talking. I can't play it. My dad's playing. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if I was playing, we'd be stuck in a stone <laughs> Yeah, we'd, somewhere. we'd be looking at a gutter. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Here, I'm gonna let my dad play real quick. No, I'm not. Yeah, this is a good question. <laughs> okay, I'm on it. Alright, here I go. Uh, did I do it? <laughs> I did it. That's not a big wall. Okay, so I just activated a shrine because I had a disease. Anytime you activate a shrine of any of the Daedric gods, which is the religious system in Skyrim, it will cure your diseases and give you a blessing. Um, the blessings, if you know what your build is, can be useful. They're not a big deal. Uh, in my experience, using them to cure disease for free is much better. That looks just like my dad playing games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dad's played some, my father, not yours. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> That's getting weird. Um, he used to try to play Call of Duty every now and then. He'd be the guy in the back of the map, like in the spawn, <laughs> just fucking spinning around. What would you have me do then? Nothing? What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Baldruff is not receiving visitors. I told you that's how a pistol works. <laughs> well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, so you like were at Helgen. You saw this he is, dragon with your like eyes. He's like a governor. Uh, and right now, in terms of Skyrim politics, there's no head of the cabinet. 
A king just got murdered by another government. He's Charles the Creator. <laughs> this is Charlie the Creator. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? The creator. By his name, was right. His name is Jarl Belgrade. They say now, Provencius. Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? He's actually pretty cool. We should send troops. I like how he sits. It's in the most immediate danger. I know I'm wearing an open-ended bottom. You'll assume we're preparing to join Alfred's side and attack him. Don't. We should not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irrelevant. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. That wasn't my yeah, that wasn't my turn. I'll return to my You've been playing Skyrim for a month, so you know most of the basics still haven't finished it. Okay, cool. Uh, what 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 console or device are you on? I actually I've bought in Skyrim on Xbox, PC, and Nintendo Switch. So that would be best. That's what I said. I thought. Well done. Oh, you I sought bought. me out on I your own initiative. Bought. You've done White Run a service, I and I won't oh. forget mm. it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. B O T T E N. This another thing you could do for me. Suitable for some of your particular talents. Perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, right. my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and... Our pal Paul hasn't finished the game yet, but he knows the basics of the game. That's great. I probably won't be able to show you anything unique, but if you want to see anything or have any questions, Come I'm to happy Dragon to Fruits interact. to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of it. Hmm? Yeah, lesson, right? The Jarl will <laughs> yeah. be found in the great hall, probably sitting on his last <laughs> one. Not over here in a wizard's laboratory. And this is how you spend three hours doing absolutely nothing in Skyrim. <laughs> it seems this day. Don't worry about uh, any indeed. missions. Right yes. Okay. Well, Just when fish. I say fetch, I really Just mean Del. You are eager. I uh, learned of a certain. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. This is a priority now. We got we got the Barrows quest. PC and Xbox, we've got the game pass. Cool. Yeah. Uh, if um for real, if is the keyboard too loud? I normally play controller, but for some reason I decided I wanted to use keyboard and mouse on this one. If the clicking of the keyboard is annoying, please let me know and I'll I'll switch to a controller. You know, I don't got the best setup. Or if his voice is annoying, yeah. I can try. <laughs> if my voice is in the way, I can turn off the Ellis. <laughs> oh, here's some plants. You got any, like, you got any, like, not known advantage tricks to control? Uh, yeah. I mean,. The keyboard isn't that loud. Okay, I'll move it a little bit more. I love throwing down a quick save and just killing people. Yeah, you sound a lot like my friend Harrison. I have watched him slaughter White Run probably a hundred times. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. I do know a, a couple of level strats that you can use that you can use to level up to a hundred, but most of them are very grindy. Like it takes three, four hours. It's not fun. I mean, this, this, yeah, no. no not much good. I got tips and tricks, but nothing to really speed up your playthrough. If you're trying to play through Skyrim quickly, you're not playing it, you know, for the right reason. It's, it's about enjoying the atmosphere, the, the dialogue. Have you met my? I just mean like even fighting skills or anything like that. Well, yeah. Okay. Being more specific. Yes. Um, anything that uh, um, if you, you want one month, two months, anything like yeah. two month player would okay. like to know. Like um, combat. First thing you should do if you feel comfortable with the game is you should up the difficulty to expert. Um, that'll help you build XP quicker in your combat traits, 
which will give you more perks to spend on not only combat, but your crafting and secondary skills. Uh, so upping the difficulty helps you level up quicker and more efficiently. If you play on the easiest difficulty, when you're level 80, the game is harder than it would be if you had played to level 80 as an expert. If that makes any sense. The, the AI will level at the base rate, so if you go lower than the base rate, they are actually getting harder and harder as you get better equipment. Uh, it's not impossible, but it's just a tip. Uh, what was your question? Just let us have combat modes. Are there any good Yeah, okay. Blocks? Yeah. Um, when you're doing a dungeon, choke points are a very easy way to protect yourself when you are under-equipped, low-level, playing a high difficulty. Uh, if you can hold a doorway or a hallway or like one of those trap passages that have like the swinging axes, you can get a ton of XP without risking your life and having to reload. And the last tip is obviously save all the time. Have fun. Uh, well, yeah, play how you want. Yeah, exactly. Uh, your game. So we'll go back to Riverwood. I should probably eat and drink something. Yeah, I'll get ready to drink something. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm out of lime. You're out of lime? Yeah, but it's okay. I'm at that point where it still kind of tastes like yeah, lime. Stealth Archer is overpowered. That is true, but it is incredibly fun. Oh, I'm okay. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Paul, by the way. I do this for fun, and I'm glad you're having fun, too. I'm miserable. You have the <laughs> I'm held here against my will. I won't even let him have his phone. <laughs> <laughs> you got the game on Adept. That's fine. That's what I'm playing on right now. Uh, Stealth Archer is overpowered. Yes, it is. But I'll tell you what. Stealth Archer or Stealth Assassin, that character can do, like, it, it fits the most factions, if you know what I'm saying. Like, if you're a stealth archer, you can do Thieves' Guild. Makes sense. Assassin's Guild, or whatever it's called. Assassin's Brotherhood. The Brotherhood. That's what it's called. The Brotherhood. That makes sense. You can even do College of Winterhold, because you can do illusion magic and be invisible. You can do the, the, uh, the Companions, because you're an archer. You can do... You know, it all makes sense as a Stealth Archer build, and typically, if you play Stealth Archer, you have a backup combat slot. It could be Mage Destruction, it could be a sword, it could be daggers. My favorite character I ever played was my first one. He was a Stealth Archer with daggers as a backup. And I was a sneaky, smithy, alchemy boy. I didn't enchant. I didn't deal with much magic. If you do want a lot of combat, though, kill some chickens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not lying. <laughs> but make sure there's guards around. You like talking with small streamers? Dude, I'm a big boy. <laughs> I'm not a small streamer, man. I'm, I'm 6'9", 335 pounds. <laughs> No, yeah, I'm a small streamer, thanks. Good to chill. I know my chair is really squeaky, that's probably annoying, but... Like I said, I do this... I do this for fun. We got rooms of food, drink, too. There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino. Been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. You should play Same Fallout if you like Skyrim. Fallout 4 is a great game. If you're on PC or Xbox. Boy, boy, how the hell did you knock that down? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> they say a dragon attacked Helgen. Sounds like hogwash to me. Nobody trusts those mages way up north in their college. Gods only know what they do up there. That's Word all is, Ulfric Stormcloak is. <laughs> hey, come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Cat dog with Mac. 
You're that visitor been poking around. What time is it? It's, mm. it's midnight. I'm the in sure thing. It's yours for a day. So I'm gonna rent a room. She's got we rumors don't get also. A, they say a dragon attacked Helgen. Sounds like Hogwarts. Oh. You can't take that. I'm I'm Please sorry. Please, someone do something. Oh crap. I think you're bleeding. Oh boy. That was so I, I stole a basket. Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, they don't mess around. That sucked. Yeah. Rats. <laughs> <laughs> What are you? <laughs> Schemers. <laughs> oh, was... We got rooms. Of... There have been whispers. A boy up in. Have you seen that shrine of a. Nobody trusts those mages. They say a dragon attack. Word is, Ulfric Stormclaw. Oh, that was good. I won't lie. <laughs> I mean, it just comes out. You're that yeah. visitor. No sure thing. It is it's there. yours for a day. They say a dragon attacked. Word like is, that, Ulfric Stormcloak is The woman in the store said, Yeah, well, I had somebody throw a frozen yep. turkey at me. I'm like, that sounds like I guess you don't have to take it anymore, Jack. Yeah, we can't do any. There was no, it's just a perfect conversation. I'll send someone over. Yeah, we'll have our supper. We'll have a little Alto wine. Oh, boy, you're going to sleep good tonight. <laughs> Hell yeah. Get some cabbage. Goose roast. And nobody else is going to sleep well. <laughs> See what cabbage does to you. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Same thing as apricots. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Never <laughs> mind. Let's <laughs> not take that. Throw it again. <laughs> I don't even want to go down memory lane on that one. I still smell it. <laughs> I used to get really gassy if I eat dried apricots. So I'd give them to my dog, <laughs> and then I'd send them into my parents' room while they were sleeping or napping or whatever, and shut the door. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I mean, it's probably more me than him, <laughs> but well, I just ate a sack of flour, I think. I always thought it was your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Women don't fart. <laughs> right, we'll wake up at 5 a.m. Takes a basket and gets death penalty. Yeah, he's, he's up. <laughs> yeah, he's chilling, man. He's up and at it. He's right gnarly. You know what? Good for him. Paul TBB, I'm going to subscribe to you. I don't care if you don't have a single video on your channel. You're chilling. Like a villain. Like a villain. Oh, crap. Uh, terrible. Did I spell Paul wrong? P-A-U-L. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you got? Paul's a bubble. Don't, don't, don't worry about what I got. Dang. <laughs> Be quiet. That's not his channel. Oh. Like he's hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so weird. Yeah, like a like a lion or something. I can't find it. Off. I can't find your channel. If you link me your channel, or maybe maybe he doesn't have a channel. Maybe it's just a Google account. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, bud. We're we're getting back to the room. How long are you going to Uh I slept for five hours. Four days. <laughs> I am fresh. Yeah. Right, let's go get those poppy seeds. I should probably do. <laughs> I'm about to do alchemy, actually. <laughs> I was about to say, I should probably do some alchemy real quick. And you go, let's do some poppy seeds. So we gotta eat a lot of this stuff just to get some XP. Butterfly wings? Oh, yeah. Want to get kiss it? <laughs> With your nose. I got a lot of that. <laughs> yep, you're right. I messed up. <laughs> what, you're true. True. <laughs> I don't get a lot of kisses, obviously. <laughs> and that being said, reindeer in Siberia can find some of Trippy mushrooms, yeah. Yeah, they're having a good time. 
Oop, I gotta restore health potion. And a restore magicka. He's freaking jonesing. <laughs> <laughs> he needs something. I'll cut this up. Oh yeah. Back cut it up. Oh yeah. Got horns or something. Something yeah, up. something like that. I'm just trying to make potions and discover more effects. Can you imagine using a goat horn? Like he's gonna be like a funnel. <laughs> what are you, like, you, you put the small end in your nostril. Oh you just snort like a half gram. I mean, <laughs> like a half pound. <laughs> Have what? <laughs> I have an ounce. That's what I thought, yeah. I don't know my numbers. I don't know what grams are. <laughs> oh. That's the guy who invented the telephone. <laughs> I, don't, I don't speak metric. Yeah, Four or five conjuration sounds good. I'm just going through some ingredients they got. It is interesting with the English. Use the metric system put their money over pounds. Hmm. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Well, why are they called fries chips and chips crisps? Yeah. Oh. Fries is short for French fries. Oh, they are very racist. Yep. They don't, they don't care for, they call it, um, scones instead of French toast. <laughs> oh, those are nothing to like. <laughs> scones and French toast. That's why, though. I'm not gonna deal with poisons. Well, maybe I should. I'm using the bow. We get a couple of damage magic here. You are going to brew a new batch of ale, right? Like you talked about. What we have is sitting in that barrel. You'll take care of it. <coughs> yes. I, always. I don't suppose I could convince you to take care of it Swall now, could I? You swallowed her. <laughs> swallowed <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Should have guessed. Right, that's enough alchemy. Sorry about that. What do they call scones? Br British people, I I'm guessing? Scones? Scones, yeah, that's like the. That's like the it's, dry a ass it's a pastry. pastry. Do British people call them something different? I know they call cookies biscuits. Yeah. And they call they call candy sweets. Like if they go get like a chocolate bar, they'll call it a sweet instead of a candy bar. I don't know. Do, do you know what they call scones? I think they call. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they called them biscuits. Also. U.S. citizens, fucking Americans. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> they call them Yanks. Wankers. Wankers. <laughs> Yankee, Yankee Janker, Yankee no, Wankers. I do think it's funny how Americans make so much fun of the English for how they talk, and it's like, you realize English is named after a country, right? <laughs> like, oh, the language? Oh, yeah. Oh, I never made a connection. Turns out England made English. Get it. And we say it wrong. I thought we spoke Indian. Native Indian. Native Indian. <laughs> oh! Give me that. Who's there? Ow. Ow, what you doing? Ow, you doing? Ow, what you doing? Oh, shit. I got one of those great. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, jeez. Cheese. You got cheese? <laughs> I wish. Where's Paul? <laughs> Paul's in the chat. Hey, Where Paul. are you from, Paul? Where are you from? I'm guessing Wisconsin. I'm gonna guess. Colorado. Oh boy. Nice technique. To pack up. That's choke. a good, yeah. Yep. Like I said, it's, it's about choke points. I, I held them against this wall so I could have some distance. Butterflies! Uh -huh. Wee! Wolves turn into butterflies when they die. <laughs> Something like that. That is beautiful. What is that? Look at that tree on a rock. Oh, it's a tree behind a rock. There's a dragon. <gasps> you killed him. Oh boy. Oh, I feel so bad! Yeah, he's a. Oh my god! I just killed a hawk! It's an endangered species. It only took one shot! I would miss that if it was an enemy 100% of the time! Connecticut. Right on. Yep, I've got a friend who is studying to be a doctor in Connecticut. Hartford, Connecticut, I believe. I went to college in Boston. Been to New York, Maine, New Hampshire, a little bit of Vermont, but you know, there's nothing there. Uh, Rhode Island for Hart Hartford was always our tra one of our traffic stops, like you know, on yeah, our way it, to Maine it, or whatever. It's one of the places we always yeah, get back. Yeah, it seems up. like we'd always catch it between 11 and 4 p.m. Yeah, vacationed in Maine a lot. Went to school in Boston. I got a lot of family on the East Coast, from Nashua to Chelmsford. There's another hawk. I'm not gonna kill kill this one. No, Connecticut, sit, man. You're lucky. You got mountains. You got ocean. It's a good place to be. There's some bad guys up here. A quick save. We got some fields. Corn. Yeah, we've got corn and soybeans. And a racetrack. And a racetrack. Yeah, that's fun to watch. Yeah. Round and round. Gretzky? Uh, something like that. You're very close. Explain something. <laughs> it is Wayne. Huh. Holy cow. If you just spoke to the Arl, what did you do for the first hour? <laughs> what did he do? He's like, how is it taking you so long to get this far? <laughs> well, I did a, uh, it's a mod that's called Alternate Start. So I started in the woods near Rifton. So I had to go to Riften, and I did some stuff in Riften, and I'm not going to lie, I, I'm playing very slowly, you know, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm just He's looking in every single basket, every <laughs> single <laughs> no, cranny. No, it's chill, it's just, it made it sound strenuous, it's chill. At least for stuff that cracks in the water <laughs> joints. Yeah, I'm looking at Harold right now. Oh, okay. Oh, wait they got one freaking tomato in a, in a whole barrel. Brilliant storage. That was four tomatoes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but, uh. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was interesting. Damn. <laughs> you your game. Like, tell you what, you start running, 
Taking in the sights. But yeah, episode one was two hours, and that was a lengthy creation character process. Me getting from Riften to. Uh, I actually went to Algreef, and then I went to Elgin. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to have fun, chilling. You look in every corner also? Yeah. And it, like, I'll grab the shit that's, like, weird. Like, I like to have one copy of every book. Like, I'll pick up books, but if it's one I know I have, I won't pick it up. I like to, I like to have bookcases when I build my house. I like to collect, uh, the, the, Fingernails. the guard, Fingernails. the guard uniforms and shields. Each city has its own guard uniform. I'm coming up on the troll. By the way, Paul, it's really weird when he's talking to you, he looks at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm like, not doing It's like very uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Paul. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Shit. Dang. There's supposed to be bad guys up here. Such great architecture. I wonder why they let just let it go to rules. That is really cool, isn't it? Yeah. And, like, it's just, like, cut stone. It's not... Oh. Oh, I hit him. Oh boy, you got Choke slam, baby! Oh! Oh! That's nice, isn't it? No, that's actually sick. That could be like a video that Store does or something. and your lock picks and your amulet. <laughs> What'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> I said end of virginity. Gosh. <laughs> now that you're dead. <laughs> well, it's that time of the month. <laughs> you're not going to give up now. It's never going to happen. He's going to die soon. <sighs> Do items despawn when you put them in your house? This isn't even... The, no, this isn't the first episode. I did a two-hour stream earlier. <laughs> oh, he's watching, uh, um, he's watching the old one? No, he's he's live. Oh. So he can um, hear me asking if he's watching this? Yep. He, he's heard everything you've said. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. He's coming for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I um, items despawn. It's, it's kind of weird. You can't use... Uh, I don't know the technical word, but I'll call it public storage. So, like, if you've been around, if you've been around White Run, there's like a like a burnt down house over here or something that has a chest in it. And if you put your items in that chest, that's what I'd call public storage. 
it will despawn after 24 hours. If you own a property... <laughs> what are you laughing about? I'm laughing at your hand gestures at the microphone. Well, it helps me convey the sound. <laughs> What was the term you used? A public what? Public storage. Wait, public storage? <laughs> yeah, they can tell what you meant by that. <laughs> yeah, he just tried to ridicule me by doing the same thing I did. Now, now I always show you what you I know what I did. <laughs> I want to show him what you did. Uh, if you own the building, or if it's a mod that has private storage, I did the quotes again. Because <laughs> I don't know the actual term. Hence, I finger quoted. <laughs> they'll stay. It's okay, sorry. I didn't so, if you buy a breeze home and put all your items in that chest, they'll stay there. If you find a random shack in the woods and put all your items in a barrel or a chest there, they'll disappear. Yeah, just funny shit, that's all. <laughs> God, that's all like, you almost like went both sides of the microphone here. Well, yeah, you can't block the sound. <laughs> you gotta gesture around the microphone. <laughs> We're gonna go this way. I need a shot. <laughs> I'm trying to Morse code, you guys. It's like a flashlight. <laughs> it's alright. I'll put a hat on. <laughs> okay. I thought my hair was a bit too noisy. <laughs> That's a small. Trying to conserve. Arriba! Mine's not. I'm very disappointed. It's like when you go get all you can eat shrimp, but they're just not very big. <laughs> I've got to level up. Oh, here's another tip. I can eat shrimp. <laughs> if you are uh, doing a quest or an adventure and you have a level up, save it until your health. Magicka is low because as soon as you level up, it restores all of your values to 100%. Well, Stamina also. That's a great tip right there. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good tip, right? Yeah, well, you're going to be on the fringe of death. Like and subscribe. <laughs> you don't. You don't gotta do that. <laughs> I just hear it all the time. It's a good job, Wolf buddy. Good job, Wolf. Ghost Wolf. <laughs> we gotta come up with a name for him. He's a ghost wolf. Like hound, ghoul, those are kind of close. You got anything from that? Good dog names for a wolf. Baldo. Isn't that a Disney movie? Yeah, Baldo. Uh, I like that movie, makes me cry every time. I'll come back. <gasps> He had an apple pie on him! He had an apple pie? Yeah! I didn't even think they came out with that for a long time. Food? <laughs> oh, I'm being... Oh, boy. I apple pie. Oh, apple iPhone pie. Yeah, when you have so many iPhones, you can just bake a pie out of it. He did the order. He got an iPhone. <laughs> A non-sponsored delivery service. <laughs> oh, that's fun. It's a fun challenge not to mention the name. <laughs> uh, but like, if you leave items around an owned house, will they just spawn like out of a chest? Uh, yes. If they're not in a container. They can disappear. Um, they stolen? No, they just despawn. Yeah, so. It's. Valid question. It's a valid question. I'm curious as to why you'd like that. 
lose his stuff? Well, maybe he's trying to decorate a house with, uh, like, pelts or coins or something. Uh, like, for example, in Fallout, you can drop all your money as a individual item on the ground, and it won't despawn. In Skyrim, if you try to take 15,000 coins and drop them in a big pile on the ground, disappear. they'll disappear. That's not a good investment. You've seen people decorate their houses, though. It could be a mod. I'm not exactly sure. I don't want to tell you something that, you know, I'm not an expert on the game. I've been playing it a long time, but... Uh, Have you ever decorated a house? Yeah. I have decorated a house, but Stay there. well, you use mannequins, you use weapon stands, yeah. you use right. display Permanent. racks. Permanent. These are Fixtures. called containers. Yeah. Things that display an item. Um, or permanent fixtures. That's a good word. Yeah, it's you know, and if it's outside of a house, especially if you set it like outside. You never know if some giant or dragon's gonna roll by and blast it to smithereens inside your house if you have stuff on the ground. Well, now that I say that, like, I probably could drop like an apple or something. Yeah, let's try. Well, I don't have a house yet. It's okay. You know what? This is a good test. Here you go. Um, I will go into my inventory and to decorate. I will drop. In a, uh, I'll drop a piece of bread. Okay, so the bread is right here, by this post, by the entrance. Now, this is not an area that I technically own, so a separate test might be needed. But. This is to demonstrate what containers versus non-containers do. This is what you call the control. Right. And once I get a house, I will do another test. See, this is why I'm three hours into it. Okay, the bread is still here. So you know what? You go ahead and do whatever you want. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Might be able to drop items and they stay there. But I wouldn't be surprised if they disappeared somehow. I've never had that idea either, so thank you for suggesting that. I, I never thought to just drop items. Although, I have like accidentally grabbed plates or something off a house I own, like off a table, and put them back over the course of 45 minutes, but I never thought to actually place items down <sighs> as additional scenery. I accidentally picked up plates and smashed them all over by me. So, uh, never mind. It probably only resets after 24 hours, right? That's what I would assume. And, like, out of a chest, yeah, if you don't own the chest, it will despawn. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there's like, uh, some sort of burnt down house around this area and I on one of my earlier playthroughs back in 2012 or 13 or whatever I stored a whole bunch of weapons in it and I played for hours came back had no weapons uh, if you don't own the chest don't put your stuff in it that's just the, that's the safest way I don't know if the anniversary edition has fixed this. I don't know if storage has become permanent, but Skyrim loads and has to unload lots of resources. Every time you kill someone, that sword stays there unless you put it in a container. So things that aren't weapons, armor, essential, usually get despawned like jewelry and stuff like that. We don't have to kill this guy, he'll kill himself. Yeah. 
Low self esteem. Silly fella. Oh, shit. I just picked up something I didn't want to. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I know what you picked up. No. I think, I think it was something weird. Go fly. <laughs> Finishing. Finishing key. I will say, also, if you're having a frame rate issues, like your, your game starts to lag or whatever, uh, it's never a good idea to drop items into the world because they will take up the game's RAM or something like that. Uh, so if I didn't have a beast mode PC, I would take these items and store them on his dead body because his body will despawn. And when his body despawns, any items on him will also despawn. Which will make less rendering. Oh. I remember when you uh, used to have to like see patch up and stuff. <laughs> I still the same. That never changes. <laughs> uh <laughs> Yeah. Very good observation. We know that. We, we know. know. Last stream of the season. This is the last stream of our season, guys. You got a decent PC. Yeah. But still, I'd be hesitant about leaving items not in containers you own. Uh, like I said, I don't exactly know if they've addressed this issue. It's not really an issue. I mean, if you put something in somebody else's chest, there's a good chance it's going to be gone, right? Yeah, especially like an arrow. Yeah, they're like they're a, gonna be going to put an arrow in their chest, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, that's another way to look at it. <laughs> I'm seasoned. Hey, thanks. Sorry. No, it's cool. I'm, I'm. We're gonna do the outro. We got a new another two hour stream. Uh, Paul TVB, shout out to you. You're a great YouTube community member. You're Thank our you. First viewer. That's not my first viewer. That's <laughs> our one and only. But it's one of my best. You know what, Paul? I will go out and say there. You have been my favorite interaction in the comments. I've I, had. I, I agree. Had, I'm joking around a lot too. But that's cool. You asked some questions. I hope you can answer your questions. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Player. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back with Skyrim more. Like I said, this this whole stream is kind of a gift for my brother. Uh, I created it. <laughs> he owns the YouTube channel, so if you do donate, it will go to him. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. Have a good night, Paul. Everyone else, thank you for watching. Brother, Peace. I love you. Peace to Connecticut. Peace, Peace to Connecticut. Junior. Yep. Love Anoush. Um, Anoush. God, what I would give to be with you. You're a beautiful woman. All right. Peace. <laughs>